Well, now we've got Theresa May, it's a different ball game altogether. It's trust. <laughs> Sorry. Lee Anderson is the new Conservative Deputy Chairman, but he's also the man that said this. Especially in my constituency, I don't know any nurses or public sector workers on 30 odd grand using food banks. Uh, and if they are, I mean, my colleague Simon Clark was quite right. If they are, they probably need some budgeting skills. So who is Lee Anderson and what has he said? People say I'm outspoken, people say I'm I don't think I'm controversial. Born and bred in Ashfield, Anderson spent 10 years working as a coal miner before turning his attention to politics. As a long-time member of the Labour Party, in 2015, Lee was elected as councillor in the Ashfield District Council. But as a pro-Brexiteer and with a dislike of the then-leader Jeremy Corbyn, his tensions with the Labour Party began to grow. By 2018, he was suspended after he hired a digger to dump two massive concrete blocks in a local car park in an attempt to build a barricade to stop travellers from camping there. The same year, he defected to the Conservative Party and became a councillor in Mansfield. In 2019, in his bid to become MP for Ashfield, Anderson posted this video on Facebook. So I stood on this spot a few months ago, banging on about nuisance tenants throughout this lovely estate on Carsick. Let's have them in a tent in the middle of a field, six o'clock every morning. Let's have them up, let's have them in the fields, picking potatoes or any current seasonable vegetables, back in the tent, cold shower, lights out, six o'clock the same the next day. That would be my solution. This wasn't the only controversy in his election campaign, as he was seemingly caught out for setting up a door knock while out canvassing in Nottinghamshire. Are you going to be voting on yeah. December the 12th? And do you yeah. mind me asking which way you're going to go this time? Well, I'm going to be up. There's yeah. no way Labour are ever going to get my vote again. While filming, Anderson's microphone picked up on his phone call to a household before the visit, saying... Make out you know who I am. You know I'm the candidate, but not a friend. All right. The supporter then made things worse by saying they would bring back the Cat Nine Tails. Arguing Cat Nine Tails for Cat Nine Tails. Despite his turbulent campaign, Anderson still managed to become the MP for Ashfield, a historic change for the constituency that has once been a Labour safe seat. In 2021, Lee Anderson announced that he would not be watching the England Games in the Euros due to the players taking the knee before matches. In a Facebook post, Anderson claimed that they are supporting a political movement whose core principles principles aim to undermine our very way of life. The team, as Anderson said, runs the risk of becoming like the Labour Party and having nothing in common with their traditional supporters. The sad fact is that taking the knees associated with BLM, I was there when the riots were happening on Whitehall last year, it was terrifying, and that's what the normal man in the street associates taking the knee with. The same year, Anderson wrote, maybe it's time to bring back the water cannons, as a suggestion for simultaneously dispersing crowds and cleaning streets in response to the Extinction Rebellion protests. In 2022, Lee made headlines for arguing that the reasons lots of people are using food banks is because they cannot budget and can't cook a meal from scratch. Speaking in the Commons, he said, Come to Ashfield and work with me for a day in my food bank and see the, 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 the brilliant scheme we've got in place where when people come now for a food parcel, they have to register for a, a budgeting course and a cooking course. And what we do at the food bank, we show them how to cook uh, cheap, cheap and nutritious meals on a budget. We can make a meal for about 30 pence a day and this is cooking from scratch. These comments were widely criticised and he was labelled as being out of touch, landing him with the nickname 30p Lee. However, Lee was crowned the Tories backbencher of the year by Conservative Home. Anderson kicked off 2023 with a bang as he was filmed being in an altercation with the Stop Brexit protester Steve. It's a new year. Happy New Year! But you've not got a new job yet, have you're you? Still Same a, old job. You're I, still a parasite. You're I still a stranger. You. And you're still a malignant. Nice no, people. People. people to say the same employment, isn't it? Get off! Get off! Get off! Get off. Get off. Get off. A week later, Lee spoke out again on the use of food banks. Especially in my constituency, I don't know any nurses or public sector workers on 30 odd grand using food banks. Uh, and if they are, I mean, my colleague Simon Clark was quite right. If they are, they probably need some budgeting skills. In his defence, he then tweeted this photo of a colleague, stating she's single and earns less than 30k. He then goes on to say that she does not need to use a food bank. Katie makes my point really well. Anderson has also been known for speaking out on immigration and has been a supporter of the plan to deport people seeking asylum to Rwanda. On a recent trip to Calais, the MP said, I'm still furious, I'm foaming at the mouth over this Care for Calais organisation. They're acting like a magnet for these young men to set up camp here. They're basically feeding them, clothing them, they're teaching them how to 
how to speak English, how to, how to read and write in English, uh, and then waiting for them. Once they cross the channel, they're waiting for them and volunteering hotels uh, to, to support them while they're there. A few days before he was appointed the Conservative Party Deputy Chairman last week, Anderson vocalised his support for the return of the death penalty. Nobody has ever committed a crime after being executed, he said. In, in, in some circumstances, not all, but in some circumstances it's very difficult to argue against. The announcement of Anderson as the new chair sparked debate, as one Tory MP supposedly said that Lee is everything that is wrong with the Conservative brand presently. But as a Red Wall MP, others argued that Lee can speak to working class people and he knows why people voted a conservative in 2019 and what makes them tick. 